Port Escondido is it's a giant beach break and it's really unusual to get a beach break that actually gets this much swell and gets this big and heavy. I was feeling pretty good that morning, feeling confident. I, I knew where I wanted to sit. I knew what kind of wave I wanted to catch. Probably about 20 minutes after I got into the lineup, that wave presented itself. And I know you just gotta really commit. So I had to really get down on my board. I kind of got hung up and ended up stomping it down on this wave and starting to get down the face. And it just felt like it took an eternity to get down it. And I came off the bottom kind of slowly to read what the wave was gonna do before I made a final move and really committed to a line. And I noticed that instead of throwing out in a giant open barrel, it was gonna kind of half barrel. And at that point, I knew it wasn't gonna be a makeable wave and I just really needed to make sure that that lip didn't land directly on me. So I just did everything I could to just skirt right up under that lip and, and get it in the barrel because that's slightly safer than taking all the weight on your shoulders. Yeah. And then I got extremely pounded. <laughs> and all the waves behind it were a lot bigger so it was a proper thrashing it's just it's just so violent as soon as like your forehead gets out of the water you get pulled back down or you get pulled sideways and you're trying to sip a little breaths of air without actually taking in foam i've been coming to puerto escondido for almost 18 years now and that was double the biggest day i've ever seen previous to that so that's something super rare we might not even see that in our lifetimes again Oh, <laughs> ho,